Well, welcome back, dudes. On this episode, uh, we're going to be doing basic maintenance on the bike. I got some 10W40 oil change. I got a OEM Honda oil filter made in China. I find that to be kind of whack. Um, and then we got some, some coolant to flush through it. Oh, I also got some behind me. I got some other fluids like uh, brake fluid. Um, some more starter fluid. Hopefully we can get that flushed. Uh, that way when the little electronic pieces come in in the next couple of days we'll be ready to start ripping this thing. Alright. Uh, brothers. Uh, there's the daggum oil filter and the daggum bolt. Of course underneath there it's cold and sad down here on the dirty garage floor, but that's the price you have to pay for this magical beast. Um, just gonna pump through some cheap 10W40 uh, full synthetic stuff and then get a couple cranks in it and then probably change the oil again in the next 100 miles or so. So. Let's start the time lapse and get this thing changed. All right, so we got the the oil draining as we speak, um, and I'm just gonna leave that there because uh, uh, I'm gonna go watch a rocket launch. Uh, this is why we call it Rockets Garage because. Uh, where I live, there's rockets that fly all the time, so I'm going to let that drain and go head out and watch a rocket launch. So stay tuned for that, and then we'll get back to the CBR project. All right, dudes, we're on the way there now, but I had to stop and get some gasoline at the old VP Racing Fuels. Um, it's going to be a sick, clear night, so hopefully we'll see the rocket launch tonight going on dudes we made it to the best beach in uh, Southern California Hualama Beach uh, it's on the point of South Santa Barbara California and Vandenberg Space Force Base is that hill right there and the SpaceX Falcon 9 shoots right over top so that's what uh, we're gonna watch tonight and that's why we call it Rockets Garage so we got the Jeep Liberty project right there We got the Pacific Ocean right here, baby. So hopefully tonight, a rocket will come flying over our heads and it'll be super awesome fire. I've got issues Cause I fell in love with you Doesn't make sense, but it's true I can't help myself Gotta get help cause I can't deal with my
I've got issues Cause I fell in love with you Doesn't make sense but it's true I can't help myself Gotta get help cause I can't deal with my issues Make me feel alive but confused Should've spent more time on you Cause I know that you hurt It's a little bit later. I uh, hope you guys like that little rocket launch. A little explanation of why we call this Rockets Garage. Uh, got the new filter on. Or the new filter in my hand. About to take the old filter off. Uh, I need to grab some oil real quick to prime this filter and see if I can get that one off. Sweet. Well, got a little extension on the oil filter. See if I'm strong enough to remove it. I've got issues Cause I fell in love with you Doesn't make sense but it's true I can't help myself Gotta get help cause I can't deal with my issues Make me feel alive but confused Should've spent more time on you Cause I know that you hurt Got the old one off. Gonna add a little bit of special sauce to the new one so it's not at least dry cardboard the next time the engine starts, so I have a little bit of flavor to it. I always feel weird when I'm making these YouTube video parts because it makes me sit in silence while I'm filming this stuff so that I don't get copyright striked, but I. I promise I'm a normal guy doing normal things in the garage, but the silence makes the noise between my ears real loud, so I guess I'll add some background music. Here we go. Alright, sweet. I got the, the old oil out, the new filter on, and the drain plug back on. Um, I put a little bit of special sauce before I dump it all over myself on the oil filter. And I'm going to add, it says 2.7 quarts or something on empty. Uh, so I've got two now, and I've got another one on its way. So add 2.7 of 10W40. And then um, I've also got to order a new oil filter. This one that, that I had didn't come with that little nut on the end of it. So it's going to be hard to get off and you can't safety wire it on there. But yeah, I took a picture of the K&N filter that I need. Fill this bad boy up. And then next, got to flush the coolant. Um, got to flush the, the brake reservoirs. Um, I'm going to do both. I bought a little pump off of Amazon. That should be here tomorrow. It's like midnight 30 or something. Um, Sweet, so fill that up and then see you guys in the morning to flush the fluids 
and the brakes and hopefully the the little electronic relays will be here quicker than tomorrow that doesn't make any sense oh and before i go i want to film myself before i forget um the busted tank that i have that was in a in a crash um, has the perfect bolt pattern, of course, that fits the good tank that I have that's straight. So I'm not going to reinvent the wheel here. It's only held on by little spot welds. So those those nuts that are on the wreck tank, I'm just going to zip off with a uh, with like an angle grinder and um, spot weld them in place on the tank that fits the bike. Bada bing, bada boom, problem solved. I was gonna have to like go and find a nut and bolt and all that stuff. Nah, I'll just take the one off the old tank, put it on the new tank. Boom, problem solved. What's going on, dudes? Welcome back. It's the next day. It's about noon. I'm on lunch. Uh, so last night I remember changing the oil on it and I actually gotta go hit up the grocery store and go buy some distilled water. I'm gonna run a bunch of distilled water through the radiator. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some sort of rubber cap and send some pressurized air through the top of the radiator to maybe flush out some who knows what's in there. And if it all comes out clear and all the distilled water comes out, um, I'm going to replace it with the fluids. And bada bing, bada boom, it'll be drained and ready to go. So we got oil changed. Next is coolant. Uh, my Amazon package should be here today with the brake res reservoir flush those out and then wait on the little uh, diodes to come in the mail well I'm still waiting on parts um, got bad news I broke the, the shaft on the rear uh, brake master cylinder here the piston must be seized in here so I gotta order a new one but uh, I sat down on the bike and went to press the brake to uh, bleed the rear uh, brake and it sheared right off so either I gotta find a kit or find a new one, but right now I'm just gonna push it out in my driveway and hose it down, see if I can get some of this dust and grime off of it. So the Amazon man didn't come through today. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove this rear uh, brake master cylinder. Oh, there he is. Well, it was not what I was hoping, it's just another quart of oil. Uh, I was hoping to get that um, super easy removal of the brake fluid, but I'm going to do it the old fashioned way with gravity and plop it off and put it into some sort of cup. But yeah, I'm going to pop this off, check out the inside so when I go to order the parts I want to make sure the parts match. I looked up online the quick brake master cylinder rebuild kit and there was like 1500 different types. So pull the parts off to be sure that I get the right ones. Um, yeah, so hit that time lapse. All right, got the rear brake master cylinder off. Uh, pretty simple. So now I'm going to take this shaft off and then there's a little uh, little clip. I can't remember what you call it, but you pinch it together to pull it out. Um, and then the spring and the piston should fall out. And that'll tell me what I can order. All right, as you saw, I just had to uh, hammer and flat nose chisel the piston out of the master cylinder. And check this out, dude. See if it'll get the focus. Look at that, how gummed up it is. So bad, and the spring hasn't even come out yet. Oh, there it is. The spring is still springing, so I'm gonna run some screwdriver and some sandpaper up in there and see if I can scrub some of this out and uh, maybe throw it back together see if it'll move uh, and then order these parts we'll order these parts and then throw them back in here nice all 
All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna slap it back together. I'm not gonna run it like this, uh, but what I, I know what the parts look like now and I took pictures, so I'm gonna throw it all back together so I don't lose anything. And um, yeah, order the parts. So let's go. Well, we're back a couple hours later. Went to Harbor Freight and bought some snap ring pliers for this little uh, snap ring right there. And I was also wrong. I thought I broke the shaft, but actually the top of the piston was just stuck on the sidewall. So now that it has a spring, it moves up and down. It's freed up. So get the snap ring on there. Uh, and then slap it back on the bike. So I, I threw some fluid in there to see if uh, my little repair job would work. Uh, it's holding fluid, but uh, I think the piston inside the caliper is stuck now. So I'm going to take that off, uh, see if I can pop that out by hand. So I know i got to order a rebuild kit for this rear caliper, like uh, new O-rings and a new boot. New boot for this, some new line. Um, and sweet. That's it. Cause I can't deal with my issues Make me feel alive but confused Should've spent more time on you Cause I know that you hurt Leave me in the dirt Gonna leave me with my issues Gonna leave me with my all right, everything's back together. I fiddled around with the, the rear caliper just to experiment, see what it looks like in the inside. Uh, put all the pieces back together on the rear master cylinder. Uh, it needs a new kit. It's not bleeding correctly, and my bleeding kit comes tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and order all new rings and O-rings and uh, the parts I need to rebuild this rear brake. Put it away for now, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow with the bleeder.